Hi, it's me again with Corroded Oil Tips and Tricks. If somebody's trying to produce this part of a logo, uh, we've deleted the other part of the logo so you, it doesn't infringe on that, but he needs it going thick to thin, thick to thin. And when he's using an artistic media tool, it doesn't work. And I almost knew before I even tried it, so I turned on the artistic media tool. And I picked, picked one with a flat end, and if you could make have one with a flat end going the opposite direction, this would work, but you don't. So we're gonna click on that, and like a lot of times, we're gonna go to 51. Now, if we do this one and go to 51 back, there, the it's thick ends on thick ends. So the reason for that, and it's like in any case, if you take the shape tool, you notice this, this line is going like this, but this line is going like this. It's not like continuing the circle. So they will just grab that and right click and reverse sub path. Now the, sh the line is going in the same direction. Take your artistic media tool. And whenever you do like 51, and then you click on here and you've got to, you've got to go up or down. So go to 50, but then put it back to 51 and they'll be the same. I always take this and go to object and break the four objects apart because there's a hidden line. Let's see how big this thing is, over 12 inches. Let's make our nudge factor 15, and let's nudge that over. There's an invisible line that's inside there that we don't need. So I'm gonna show you if we left click, right click, that's just your hollow. If we right click, that's our original lines. We wanna get rid of those so they won't cause any problems. And then you can just make them whatever color you want. You can make them thicker, thinner. Um, it is a pretty neat logo. I, he's gonna send me the finished copy, uh, but this is like the center part of it. And it's kind of like a continuation of a spear. Anyway, I hope that helped him a little bit. And thank you for watching.